there has always been a strong hearing aid industry in Denmark, traditionally. There was the desire to educate more young engineers that have a background in audiology and therefore the idea was to establish also an internationally recognized uh, center which could educate these people and uh, prepare them for jobs in, in industry. The Center for Applied Hearing Research uh, was established in 2003. It was actually an initiative of the three Danish hearing aid companies, Oticon, VTEX and GNV Sound, together with DTU, to establish a hearing research center at DTU. One of the big challenges is to understand why hearing impaired people have so many communication problems in realistic scenes such as restaurants or other uh, situations where there are many interferers, where there's background noise. The idea is to bring the reality into the lab to study um, sound communication and speech communication and also to study systematically the effects of hearing instrument processing in real life but actually in the lab. create a realistic scene in a restaurant where we can really see uh, how much benefit a certain hearing aid processing uh, is able to give uh, the listener. We can make scenes that are more complex than in real life and see where the limits of perception for normal hearing and hearing impaired listeners are. This might also give us uh, insight into how the auditory system works in these conditions. We have a, a full sphere of uh, 64 loudspeakers. So what is a bit special about this room is that uh, we're actually on a suspended floor. Uh, so there are also loudspeakers under you. So the subject is really sitting in the middle of a sphere of loudspeakers. We use these loudspeakers to reproduce uh, sound, so spatial sound. And we can use various methods, but uh, the main idea is that um, we are able to create sounds from all around you. We looked at a bunch of loudspeakers um, and we were looking for a compact studio monitor. Um, and the KEFs have this concentric design that um, allows you to uh, perceive them more as a point source. And this is important for um, applications of sound field synthesis, for example where it fits nicely with the theory that uh, all the sound comes from a single point. In a way, it's a great technological playground, so uh, who wouldn't like to play around with uh, 64 loudspeakers? Uh, but it also opens up very interesting uh, research possibilities uh, in uh, sound field reproduction and spatial hearing and uh, human communication research. <laughs>